Make sure to stand to the end, it could be really simple fix, but if not fixed on time, you can practically destroy your Mustang engine, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Mustang. It could be multiple generation, different engines, Ford Mustang, 4, 6 or 8 cylinder engine. If you have problems where coolant is boiling, overflowing, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that and how to fix it. Now, it could be a really simple fix, but if not fixed on time, you can overheat your engine and may end up needing the engine replaced or rebuilt, which could be really expensive, guys. So we'll try to save you money by telling you what it could be. Make sure you stand till the end. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart guys. Anything from transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, exterior. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return for providing these free videos, please subscribe to the channel and like the videos. That way we can uh, keep making them. Now, if you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools at a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So let's start on it now. So specifically guys, we have here a Ford Mustang 2019, this is the GT 5.0 that uh, we've been building on our channels, you've seen it probably uh, quite a few times now, but uh, this is it guys, and even if you have a different generation Ford Mustang 6, 8 cylinder or even the EcoBoost 4 cylinder engine, it will apply as well. What can cause coolant to be boiling in the coolant tank guys? Okay, coolant boiling or uh, uh, coolant even overflowing. Let's go ahead and explain that now. So what can cause the coolant to boil or overflow? It could be multiple things, but if you notice guys on the coolant tank, that's known as a radiator cap, uh, it's designed to work at certain pressure. Let's remove it, we'll show it has an integrated valve in it. So practically, if the, uh, practically the cooling system will reach higher pressure, okay, and that valve is supposed to regulate it. It will let the pressure in the atmosphere, so you work at perfectly uh, uh, normal pressure, whatever that pressure needs to be for your specific engine. You can see this one specifically, it's 21 PSI. So bad radiator cap can cause coolant to overflow guys, to boil, because if it doesn't let the pressure out, the system could be under enormous amount of pressure. Now, what else could cause that? Something else guys, you need to check your coolant level, make sure that your coolant level is not too high or too low, that can affect it as well, if it's too high it can start coming out, boiling, too low, the car may be overheating. Number three, it could be bad thermostat, thermostat that stuck close can cause your car to start overheating and the coolant can start boiling and overflowing. We have a special video on our YouTube channel how to repair guys that talks about the symptoms of bad thermostats. Check it out. Very, very uh, popular video that will teach you all about that. Next, it could be a uh, belt uh, serpentine belt or bad water pump. If the belt falls off, the water pump will not be moving on your Mustang and as a result, the car can be overheating. If you have a bad water pump, that can happen as well because the coolant will not be circulating and the car will be overheating and the coolant can start boiling. Another thing could be bad radiator fan. We guys have multiple videos on our channels how to test radiator fan. It will teach you all about that. You can test different speeds. They may have up to 10 different speeds, these fans, guys. Uh, and if it doesn't work correctly, that can cause, okay, overheating as well. Often Ford uh, uh, has uh, multiple speeds on their fans. Now, next, guys. What else can cause boiling, okay, coolant overflowing? It could be uh, if you recently worked on the car and you did anything that involved draining the coolant, such as thermostat replacement, water pump, radiator, radiator hose, coolant reservoir. If you drain the coolant and you just added coolant, you started driving your Ford Mustang and you started overheating, maybe that's your number one mistake. You need to guys on these modern cars bleed the cooling system. If you do not bleed the cooling system, you may end up having an air pocket in the engine that will prevent coolant from flowing between the radiator and the engine and as a result that can cause the car to easily overheat. If not fixed on time, that will destroy your engine. There are multiple videos that will teach you guys how to bleed the cooling system on Ford Mustang. And another thing guys that we see here at the shop, I hope that's not the case, it could be a bad blown head gasket. We have a special video that uh, talks about the symptoms of bad head gasket. 
uh, how to recognize if you have a bad gasket check it out guys it will teach you all about that but if you have a bad head gasket it will start pumping hot air in the cooling system which will create pressure and heat and the coolant can start overflowing and boil boiling as well hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you guys next time